Here are four tips for psychologists that will increase your chances of winning matches. Number 1. Be egoistic in early game. Ada is in early game a very hard chase target with her ability stress. It allows her to take up to a total of three basic attacks until she gets downed. Don't throw your protection in early game for just a random whistle heal away. Since, after you use up your protection, you're basically a free meal for almost any hunter. Always remember, the early game decides most of the times the outcome of the game, and if the hunter ends up changing the target to you, and you just threw your protection away, he will have much easier times chasing you, than anyone else on the team. Number 2. Your whistle heals are game deciding, but they always come with a price. Your stress, so basically your protection, is your free ammo for the first heal, but after that, you will always pay a price for using your whistle. Don't just random heal people if they aren't in danger, or they don't need to be healed at all. For example, your whole team is injured, and one is chaired, and nobody can rescue. What are you gonna do? Use the heal on the rescuer, or on the person who has brought Tide and haven't used it yet. But here it always depends on the situation if you should heal them or not, so decide for yourself. Oh, and also keep in mind this trait exists. Number 3. Play Ada Passive. She is one of the best supports in the game, but is very vulnerable as the game progresses. Your job as support is to keep the team alive, and not go for rescues if someone else can. Normally you should carry a kite persona for her, since she is basically a normal survivor just with protection in early game. Without it, she relies completely on her own. But this again always depends on how good your kiting potential is, because if it's really good, then a kiting persona isn't really necessary. Besides whistle healing, I found it more effective to play her more like a decoder and focus overall on cipher rushing and let the other do the rescuing job if they can. Number 4. Use your common sense. If you want to whistle heal somebody, locate yourself not in open areas, but instead in corners or in safe spots where hunters won't interrupt the heal. Or in case you get downed because of the whistle heal, they won't be able to find you. Oh, and another thing, put yourself in front of others, I don't mean this directly, but if like example, a prisoner just needs to be chaired once again to be killed, and both of you are injured, then heal him if it's possible, even if it means for you entering the knockdown state. Ada should always prioritize the heals first on the hunter's target, if possible, if not, then the rescuers with Tide should be your second choice. Those were all tips, hope they will help you. <laughs> Back <and out. laughs>